Check out my business website too. Hi everybody. I have an Office Scripts and Power Automate demo video for you today. Using one of Damien Bird's recent video, which runs a script against a static addressed Excel file, in my video I extend it so that the flow runs an Office Script against all Excel files in your SharePoint site. Here is the link to Damien's video. You might want to watch it first or just continue watching mine. In Damien's video he iterates through the SharePoint libraries in a SharePoint site. In my demo video I show you how to not only iterate through your SharePoint libraries but how to, then, iterate through all of your Excel files in each of those libraries. Here is the plan for my flow. 1. Use send an HTTP request to SharePoint to obtain the IDs of all libraries in a specified SPO site. 2. Iterate through each library selecting only Excel files by, first, filtering out its folder items. 3. Run an Office script against all found Excel files. The Office script that runs creates a new sheet in a selected Excel file and then enters a timestamp into a cell. Before creating and running the flow I first need to create the available libraries in the SharePoint site. Here I create the libraries and some folder structure within them as well as some Excel files to operate against. Now the libraries are ready. The first step in the flow is to add the first apply to each that iterates through the libraries. I take the body result and enter it into the loop. Then I test this flow. You can see that we are returning information about the libraries including the library name. And again here if we look at the raw output view we can see the same information in a separate view pane. So, now that I have created the libraries, folders and Excel files, within those folders, let's now look at the flow. So, here we have the apply to each. This is the outer one. And here we have another one, this is the inner one that iterates through the Excel files. So, the outer apply to each iterates through the library so, what I have done here is I have modified the output value from the previous action, in this case the send an HTTP request and added slash value as you can see here. Doing this means we can now access the items. So, now, looking at the other actions within this outer loop we have two compose actions. The first compose item ID contains the library ID value. The second compose action, item name, contains the library name. Both are used in this flow. The next action is the get files with properties only. We have the site URL entered and one custom value in the library name files field. We have limit entries to folder field as empty and the include in nested items field as yes. Let's look closer at the custom value. And as you can see it is the item name. So, let's look at the next action the filter array. Here we are filtering the result of the get files action. We have a formula that requires true for two conditions. The conditions are that the full path item contains the string x lsx and the other condition is that the is folder item is false. With this formula we filter for x lsx files only. So let's now have a look at the inner loop. So we can see, here, we have two compose actions. The first one is to the full path item. The second is another compose action. So, now, this one is using an if formula. And what it is doing is taking the full path and testing if the string documents is contained within that and if it is taking the full path from that position otherwise it is taking the full length of the full path. The reason for that is that Office Script's action will not run against a file path value that has the string share documents. So, now moving on to the condition. 
So what I am doing for my particular flow is that I am only running the script against files within libraries that are not within the document's library. The reason for that is that I have many files within the document library that I do not want the script to run against. You can perhaps do this yourself, also. So in the run script, in the document library field, I am using the output of the compose item ID. In the file we are using the compose file action. So, let's test the flow and see how it works. Now the script has run successfully, let's examine the Excel files themselves to see if they have indeed had a new sheet added and a timestamp inserted as per the script. And yes, they have. Check out my business website too.